If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not get tired of waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated and not give way to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise, if you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster not tr tr and treat both those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you spoke and twisted by knaves to make a trap of fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools, if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk them in one turn of pitch and toss and lose, and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss, if you can force your heart and snoo to serve you long after they're gone, and so hold on when there's nothing in you except the will that says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds of long distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. My mother, a high school English teacher and drama teacher, first introduced me to this poem when I was seven years old. The thought of not retaliating against someone attacking me was almost unfathomable until someone I love started to attack me. I stand up for myself, but I won't counterattack. I'm almost 55 years old and I can finally claim that I understand this poem. The situation I now find myself in makes me appreciate another poem even more. It's not the critic that counts, nor the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly in errors and comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do these deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. In order to walk through fire, you've got to know you're going to come out the other side. You must have faith. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and my staff, they comfort me.